good morning. Uh, it is I, Katie. Great, if you're new here, welcome. Um, <laughs> brain is like, boop, 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 boop. Graduate student at Parsons School of Design in their master's program called Fashion Studies, and today is my last first day of school, potentially ever. It's my last semester at Parsons. This is my last semester of my master's degree, and I'm at a bit of a loss of words, honestly. Yep. So I started my day uh, going to the gym, grabbing a coffee. This is empty. I just wanted to hold it for the sake of the video. I'm going to put this in the trash now. Took a shower and now I'm getting ready to leave. I'm going to... Oh, I needed to have headed out like half an hour ago. I, the times in my heads are all mixed up because I input the times of my classes in my calendar when I was back in California. So they're all like three hours off from when it should be. So I keep... It's my first day back at school. It's my last first day. I'm finishing my master's degree. I will go over more of what that looks like later. It's a very different semester than I've ever had, but I need to go get ready to teach because I am teaching two classes this semester and I need to go get dressed and head into the city like two hours ago. So let's go struggle through the process of putting on an outfit because that's always where I stress out the most. Also, if you're new here, I have ADHD, so if I seem scattered and chaotic, that's why. At least I feel scattered and chaotic. I don't know if it comes across on screen. But let's go get dressed and rush into the city because I am feeling the time pressure. <laughs> if you hear noises in the background, my partner is in the shower. But I was going to vastly overthink what I'm wearing today, but because I am severely lacking in time, I think I'm just gonna go for a tried and true outfit and not think too hard about it, okay? That's the plan. That is if I can find my outfit. We're gonna go with this top, this sweater over it, and this pair of brown wool trousers from Emmy Design Sweden. We're gonna take care of this. I'm gonna do a very similar hairstyle with like braids that are pinned up, put on some makeup and run into the city. <laughs> Welcome to my classroom. I always get wildly nervous before I teach, like shaky, heart racing, mouth dry, so wish me luck. Got myself some late lunch, especially because I did not really eat breakfast, and we are home now. It's 3.30, I had to rush home after teaching because we are supposed to, somebody's going to be inspecting the apartment at some point. They did not tell us when that will happen, just sometime after 1 p.m. So here I am after 1 p.m. waiting for them to knock on my door, which they have not done yet and it's 3.30. So don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm home. I survived my first day of teaching this semester. I'm always such a god dang mess when I teach. I get like dry mouth and shaky hands and my heart beats fast and I forget things and, but it's just the first day. <laughs> but I didn't really have much time to give you an introduction this morning because I was definitely running late. So welcome to the first week of my last semester in graduate school. I said this morning that this semester is going to look much different than any semester of school that I've had before. That is because my main responsibility is to write my thesis. So I'm only enrolled in one actual course where I have to go to a lecture and the rest of my credit hours are for my thesis. So my schedule is far more open than it ever has been while I've been in school. I teach two days a week, I have class one day a week and the rest of the time is essentially mine to do with what I will, which if you know anything about ADHD, does not bode well because ADHD people do not do well uh, without structure. I guess this week, the fall, the, probably the next like two to three weeks in reality are going to be me feeling out what this new setup is going to be like, where and when I'm gonna get my work done, what that flow is going to look like, how often I write, like <laughs> all of that. I'm, I'm thankful for it because I, I feel as though it is going to set me up or prepare me better for post-graduation if I choose to do like freelance writing because or if I want to do independent research because I'm going to dictate my own time if I do that. So this is, this is basically experimenting with that. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely a little bit nervous about it. My thesis is, my thesis submission is due in two months, three weeks, and one day. <laughs> How I'm going to write the second half of my thesis in the next two months 
three weeks and one day I do not know it's currently at 33 pages it needs to be at least 50 so I'm feeling it a little bit <laughs> and I also have a lot of open time in the morning a lot of open time in the afternoon and then I don't have anything on my schedule for tomorrow so my brain is on its way to taking a vacation which it cannot do because I would like to spend some time I think at the least every other day if not every day working on my thesis whether that's writing reading annotating finding quotes whatever it may be that's how I would like to spend some of my time on these days I really don't know I'm just guessing and we're gonna try and see if it works <laughs> so it's like 3 40 now I think I'm gonna eat my late lunch and decompress a little bit from teaching and then I'm gonna sit down at my desk and get a little bit of writing done just a little bit like 200 words spend the rest of my evening how I will and tomorrow will be another work day so scary part which is mm, the thesis I'm gonna attempt to write especially because I deleted a lot of words in my last writing session um, and if writing doesn't seem to go well I'm going to switch to doing some reading I came across the dissertation two dissertations actually recently that I'm very intrigued to read if you watched any of my videos before you know me and reading are not friends if writing doesn't work we will replace that with the worst of the two evils <laughs> which is reading, <laughs> really making it easy on myself over here. The thing about writing is that it is never an enjoyable experience for me. Trying to corral my brain into writing is essentially, I throw a temper tantrum every time I write. It's just a part of my process. It's kind of an embarrassing part of my process. I have to let my brain throw a little bit of a petulant child temper tantrum in order to get through that initial block of I don't want to, that initial block of resistance. And once I've gotten through that, the writing, the settling into the writing comes very easy. Before that, I might as well be a five-year-old who needs a nap. <laughs> actually did what I said I was going to do and I worked on my thesis for a whole hour and I worked on my thesis not only for a whole hour but because I finished my answering my emails earlier than expected I have now been working on my thesis for more like an hour and a half my reach goal was to hit 10,000 words and I just hit 9,800 words or just barely over 9,800 words so I think that that's close enough and pretty good in terms of a uh, I, I wrote almost 400 words I said I was gonna only write 200 then I gave myself the goal of 10,000 and then I landed somewhere in between there which I think is great but I definitely need a break I've been doing a lot of not synthesizing but definitely like kind of reporting and drawing all of my field notes together and beginning to do a little bit of analysis none of it is supported with <laughs> citations. I decided that trying to feel like I had an exact plan of how I was going to interpret everything and what literature I was going to lean on was getting in the way of me actually getting writing done. So I decided to just start writing. I did a lot of writing from my field notes. 
is writing from my primary source so like my primary data which you cite as your research your field research so I'm not there there isn't what I'm saying is there isn't a need to cite secondary sources in that part of what I was writing but now I'm getting to the part where I do need to be citing secondary sources so I think what I need to do is stop writing for a little bit and kind of go through what I have and compare it against everything that I've read and start picking the things out that go together. Does that make any sense? But I definitely need a break because, let's see, I opened 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 tabs in the course of writing what I wrote to do a little bit more research. And I'm writing a particularly difficult section on Skid Row in Los Angeles right now. I don't really understand how my thesis ended up here because <laughs> it's not where I expected to go, but I've been writing a lot like a lot about the places <laughs> really that's all i've written about so far <laughs> the place where my case studies happen i talk too much i'm going to go decompress for the rest of my evening and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow good night I'm at school. I'm in the Parsons building right now. We are headed to the archive today. Not for my own research really, but for looking for volunteer opportunities. So I will let you guys know how that goes, but it's very busy in the building. So I am sealing an empty room. There's also a tour going around, which I don't know about you guys. I, I mean, I'm of two minds. I love seeing people excited for a new opportunity, but I also hate when tours come around because then I feel like a fish in a fishbowl. <laughs> and I already feel that way with the um, the double-decker like sightseeing buses that drive up and down Fifth Avenue and people are just like taking pictures of you while you're waiting to cross the street. New York things, but yes, good morning. It's Wednesday. I'm about to go to the archive. Afterwards, I'm going to the library, hoping to run into some friends who are studying there work on thesis maybe. And then I have class in the early evening. So that is today. I'm having a really horrible ADHD week where I just like can't get anything to work up in the old brain case. So we're having fun and we're doing our best. the entire walk home from the, I was gonna say plane station, but that's not right, the train station, because I wanted to remember to tell you that the escalators sound like the mechanical moving parts inside the Dwarven ruins in the video game Skyrim. I've been playing it lately and I, anyways, I had to come home because I forgot something, so I'm home. For my one and only class that I have to take, uh, we're, we have, we're supposed to bring an object of ours into the classroom because we're like curating an exhibit together. The thing that I was gonna bring with me, I left sitting right there. But now that I'm home, see the thing is I was really struggling at the library and I was considering coming home to finish a sewing project, forgetting that I had class this afternoon. But now that I'm here, where'd I go? Part of me is like, you know, I could probably finish this in the like 30 minutes I have before I have to leave. And then you know what I could do? I could wear it. It's a little skirt that I hope will become a petticoat for future projects. But then I was walking through the city and, oh, I mean, now that the ground isn't always dirty and gross, but it is particularly dirty and gross after the snow melts. And this is a very long skirt and I fear it dragging on the ground and getting absolutely filthy. So perhaps I will save that idea for the future. I just... See what I used to think was anxiety, I now know is ADHD. So when I ha the thoughts are just 
and actually to the point that I don't know about you but I have like an internal monologue when I am thinking to myself so I actually think in words I don't really think in pictures or I, I kind of think in a combination of both but it's more of a suggestion of pictures than anything else the point is I mostly think in words um, and sometimes my when I'm speaking, my mouth can't keep up with my brain, and so the words kind of come out all jumbled. But also sometimes the words in my own mind can't move fast enough, and so it just turns into this like din of people talking, or myself, talking over one another. And so in the end it just turns out as like a sound in my head. So that's where I'm at today. I think the smart thing would probably be to go eat a snack before I have to go back into the city. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I've eaten, I've zoned out a little bit. I'm feeling, I suppose, marginally better. <laughs> I'm just having like a really bad ADHD week, which is not ideal because I have a big deadline on Monday for my thesis. And so I am thankful to pass Katie for putting in the work and getting me to the point where like I'll be safe if I don't get any more work done on my thesis between now and next Monday. So I'm really grateful that I have that little bit of cushion. However, I would like to be at the page like maximum or even surpass that so that I have even more cushion going on into our next submission. But yeah, my brain is just not braining. Um, I was speaking to someone recently and they pointed out that as a woman with ADHD or a person with a uterus with ADHD, hormonal health, hormonal health can really impact your ADHD, which is something I always forget. So depending on where you are in the month, if you menstruate, that can definitely have a big impact and it's definitely having a big impact on me, I think, at least I think. But it is three o'clock, I have class starting at four, so I need to go. I thought you guys might be interested in seeing what I'm bringing with me to class though, because it's one of my favorite things that I own. I will be bringing this green box. This is my sewing box and she's very dirty obviously. And this is not only my sewing box but it was also my mother's sewing box and it was also my grandmother's sewing box. And I think the coolest thing about this little guy is that inside is that it has sewing materials in here from three different generations across two different families. There's a whole story with this tape measure. This is from my grandmother on my father's side. These little wooden spools are my grandmother's on my mom's side. Then we jump into the 80s where my mom bought her sewing machine that I still have. It's under my desk. And we get these gold plastic spools of thread. And then we have me and my cosplay with these white spools of thread. Dual duty XP. The other fascinating thing about everything in here is that there's one brand name of thread that is very prominent and that's Coates and Clarks because so we have some from my grandmother, from my mother, and from me. And this is the sewing box that has um, survived many moves, uh, losing a storage unit that had a lot of my grandmother's stuff in it. It has sewn many buttons, it has sewn many cosplays, it has done and seen a lot of things. So I'm excited to get to share this with the class. So back out I go into the cold weather and the dirty streets of the city. I don't want to go, but I gotta. I'm just like not super thrilled to be existing this week, but we soldier on. Should this be like the next purse trend? Wide and flat? No, no, we're not starting any new projects. <laughs> Cut, cut, cut. Thank you. Yeah. Hot out. Go. 
morning. It's Friday. I forgot to vlog yesterday, unfortunately, because Madison was in town. So I spent the pretty much the entire day with Madison, met up, had breakfast, and then I showed her around campus. She came and she sat in on my discussion section, and then we had tea at Paquita afterwards. So it was a really, really lovely visit, and I just didn't vlog any of it. But Madison did manage to capture a picture of me teaching and a couple of videos, so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. You should definitely check out Madison's YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to to it in the description below so please go give her some love but it is friday james has brought me my cup of tea and a homemade pita bread version of a taco bell crunch wrap <laughs> it's 10 55 a.m and i am going to head to the accepted society writing group i have that big deadline for my thesis on monday and like i said on previous days i have met the minimum but my introduction is no longer relevant anymore so I'm hoping to use this writing group time to maybe work on that a little bit, just kind of assess what my thesis needs. It's been a weird week and I still feel a little weird. A lot of anxiety, a lot of existentialism, a lot of physically feeling unwell and really tired and like oversleeping a lot. So I have a lot of things I'd like to do today, but if they don't work out, say la vie, as they say. I'm gonna fuel up and go to writing group. 